I'm here for my drink. Hi there, everybody. I am going to prepare a gimlet, a gin gimlet this evening. And um, I have decided to use Bombay Sapphire, and that is in honor of my favorite Navy SEAL, Richard Marchinko. Because he was always drinking Bombay Sapphire. So um, the way that I'm going to make this, the basic recipe is one and a half ounces of the gin. And you just mix all of this. So in goes the gin and then an ounce of lime juice. I did freshly squeezed lime juice this evening. And an unbelievable tiny amount of simple syrup. This recipe called for a teaspoon, so. And then a cup of ice into the shaker. And now, also because it's fall, and this is just my personal preference, at this point, the recipe calls for this to be shaken and then served. However, I want to add fresh herb component. So I have three cucumber slices, a fresh basil leaf, and I think the rest, that's what I'll have for now. And all that came from my garden. I've been trying to really uh, have fresh things in my garden so I can just go out and get what I need when I need a refreshing gin gimlet. So, and there were no exact instructions about how long the shake was, but I want to be positive that I get it a super good chill. And you can see the chill on the outside. And I want to infuse that basil for me, my preference, in the cucumbers. Let's give this. I think I'm going to let that fall. Oh, that looks yummy already. I think I'm going to take this off and keep this so that we can see. Get my cucumber here, get my basil here, stir cucumber. And then, just for the fun of it, I'm going to garnish, because I have this in my garden also, fresh catnip. In my opinion, I feel this has the same scent that when you first crack open a Corona beer, it smells like catnip. So, let's see how this came out. Oh, that's good. Mm. So fresh and herbaceous. Hooray. So if you try this, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe. See you guys later.